the village stood on the edge of a dense forest. Near I, a road passed by with cars and intercity buses speeding along. Next to the road was a bus stop, a store, and a small market where locals sold everything they could grow in their gardens or gather in the forest. Mushrooms, berries, nuts, and vegetables. Beside the road stood a well that once had water, but unexpectedly dried up. The locals covered it with a lid and avoided it, attributing the incident to some enchantment cast upon the village. All of this happened when a strange old man appeared in the village, who later turned out to be a werewolf. No one knew where he came from. Early in the morning, he would emerge from the forest carrying two baskets in his hands and head to the market. After selling nuts, mushrooms, or berries at a modest price, he would return. Occasionally, he would visit the store to buy only matches and salt. Some tried to follow him, but it was futile. The old man seemed to evaporate. However, a few times, he boarded a bus and went somewhere. Around the same time the old man appeared in the village, wolves started appearing in the forest. No one saw the animals themselves, but traces were constantly found. Their loud howling instilled fear and terror, causing the village to seemingly wither. Everyone was afraid to go out, especially in the evenings. They organized several hunts, but the wolves seemed to sense it and disappeared somewhere. The market had grown accustomed to the strange old man. Occasionally, a young man, strikingly similar to the old man, would come instead. He introduced himself as the old man's grandson, arriving in an old, beaten-up car to sell forest treasures. After quickly selling his goods, he would leave. On one of those days, the young man was about to leave, but he stepped into the store. Next to him, a man was selling apples from his orchard. He noticed a forgotten pack of cigarettes and a lighter on the ground. Picked them up, scanning the area for the old man's grandson. Through the store window, he saw the cigarette owner. The trader rushed into the store and encountered the old man. Besides him and the saleswoman, no one else was there. Where is your grandson? He asked. Grandson, he was just here. Take these. The man handed over the pack of cigarettes and the lighter. He forgot them. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure he gets them. The man hurried back. He saw the grandson leaving the store, taking a cigarette, lighting it, sitting in the car and driving away. The man was ready to swear that the boy wasn't in the store. But the old man never came out again. The man decided not to tell anyone about this incident. During the night, the entire village heard gunshots from the house closest to the forest. The homeowner explained that he had been attempting to shoot a wolf. Everyone observed blood on the ground near the barn. Near the barn, initially, the dog picked up the trail but then it whimpered and stayed in place. Everyone fell into a surprised silence. The old man didn't show up at the market for several days. Then he was seen heading to the bus stop. It was noticeable that he limped heavily on his right leg. Surprisingly, with the departure of the old man, all the peculiarities ceased. The wolves disappeared, or was it just one wolf and the fears vanished? water returned to the well. After some time, a small hut was found in the forest. In the room, there were a mattress and several rags with dried blood on the floor. The table had matches and salt. There was nothing else in the house. In the house in the house, a rumor spread through the village that someone had supposedly seen the old man's grandson passing by on the road. However, no one saw the old man himself, neither at the market nor in the neighboring village. The conclusion suggested itself. The old man was a werewolf.